Good evening and yeah. welcome to the Board of Appeals meeting for the town of Southwick uh, on what's the date today? November 26, 2018. Uh, in attendance are Tom Stapleton, Bill Liss, Chris Mastriani, Mike Parent, myself, Paul Grigora, and uh, our secretary, Wendy Cordero. Absent is Dave Methy. So let us uh, let us take a few minutes, take a look at the minutes of the last meeting, and then we'll make comments or additions or whatever needs to be done. And I'll just put this on pause while we read. Okay, has everybody had a chance yes. to? Yes. Keep in good shape. Do I hear a motion to accept or record it? Though. Second. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, motion to accept the yeah. notes as written. Second. Well, I think it's going. It was good. I pushed the button. <laughs> I don't think it's going. Right. It's recording, RVC. Yeah, it's going. Yep. Guaranteed? Um, no. <laughs> Nothing going. It's going. Those minutes are going out. 121, 122. Up here. Yeah, what's That's this? Folder. That's your folder number. I don't think so. Right above it. Okay. If you say so. No <laughs> way. Uh, have we? Uh, we have we, back on. Good. Have we had heard anything interesting going on? Or any, no, nothing of interest. Boring, really. Huh? Boring. Boring. Boring yeah. sound. Okay. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at this later. We have. Uh, <laughs> We have a new application that's come in. Will be for December 10th, I believe. Okay. So we'll look at that later. And now we have to kill seven minutes. <laughs> Anybody want to do a sang, song and dance routine mm -hmm. or anything like that? I think you're on. The, you're on. You're up for it today. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you can sign these. Well. This is for the advertising. Advertising of what? <clears throat> These, so this is this is what I put in to get them to pay the bills. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, See there, yeah. Um, De here. Department yeah, no, head. Yeah. Yeah. Get to sign that too. Yeah. Then it's. <coughs> Is that the plan? Okay. Is that expired? Now we're bored. No, no. All the horses no. The board is bored. <laughs> That's right. How many, how, many got, how many got up there today? Oh. 16. 16. Yeah, 16. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're rolling it. You're rolling it. Oh, oh yeah, rolling it. Rolling in something. I was going to tell you. <laughs> rolling in something. It ain't dull. It ain't dull. It feels like dull. <laughs> Only when you're walking in barefoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've been there. Squish it between your toes. Yeah. No sense running this. Okay, we're rolling one more time. It is now 7.15. Please find below the legal notice for the following hearing for publication in the Westfield Evening News, School Street, Westfield, Mass., from the Board of Appeals, Town of Southwick, Southwick, Mass., for release November 13th and November 19th, 2018. Notice is hereby given of a public hearing to be held Monday, November 26th, 2018, at the Southwick Town Hall, 454 College Highway, Southwick, Mass., at 7.15 p.m., to hear the petition of Christopher Lally and William Fontaine of Poverty Plains, LLC, for 74 College Highway, Southwick, Mass. The applicants are looking for a front setback variance of 55 feet in order to construct a commercial greenhouse and processing facility. Mm -hmm. Amen. How are you? Well, I don't know, John. When did you <laughs> sneak in? I didn't see you sneak in. <laughs> I don't want to set the expectations. So. <laughs> 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 
perfect. Okay, welcome, gentlemen. <coughs> if we, Good evening. If we can Thank go you. around and introduce ourselves for the, the record here. All right, I'm William Fontaine. My name is Christopher Lally. John Goddard from Marla Beck Associates. And Rob Levesque from Marla Beck Associates. Thank you. So, what are we trying to do? All I know so far is that it's a greenhouse and processing facility. What are we greening and what are we processing? That's correct. So the, uh, the proposed program out here is to support uh, the operation of the cannabis cultivation um, and potentially processing uh, operation at this building. Limited to those two, if you will, facets. Um, no, not, a, not a dispensary. We are looking at the property across from Nicholson Hill Road. Adjacent to the uh, Southwick Historical Society. Mm -hmm. and in the application, you'll see that there's a, 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 a letter of support from conservation. We did go to the site and delineate more than resource areas, identify what sort of constraints we're facing at this site. Um, and as we see here, essentially, the developable portion of the property is limited to the portion directly along the frontage and adjacent to the Southwick Historical Society. The remainder is mapped, uh, or rather delineated, um, as wetlands. And of course, we have riverfront area and floodplain associated with Palmer Brook on the, on the process Yeah, the brook well. going through there, too. So in order to support uh, this type of operation, um, while facilities, such as parking um, and um, some of the utility services related to the building are limited, uh, we do need to uh, utilize a fair amount of floor space. The applicants um, are experienced in what we call commercial processing, um, so that there's a linear flow from one end of the building to another in order to support an efficient uh, arrangement of the operations at the site. That type of operation lends itself to this configuration where we do have to a longer than is a uh, deep building, but for this particular scenario, it still constrains us in terms of the available acreage. Um, as noted in the application, we are requesting um, a variance to have the building set at 20 feet back from the street line. Um, the proposed work still is constrained not only by the wetlands, but of course conservation does have a bylaw uh, that very strictly protects work within the 50-foot buffer. You'll note that there is some work still required within that buffer, which will require on conservation side certainly some negotiation um, and likely enhancements and even protection of remaining acreage at the site. Can I just ask a quick question? How tall is this building going to be? Is it one level that you're going to be growing one, one at? Level. Yeah, one, one, one level. Yeah, one level. Yep. Okay. I've got some ideas we can hand out for what we expect the building to look like. Now, the top building is really the more type of structure that uh, expects to be Directed at the site, uh, the bottom picture depicts more of the trim Thank you. and body colors than we anticipated. Thank you, Jeff. No problem. And the second sheet shows, if you will, that uh, the programming that's, uh, and it's up to put into the, uh, into the layout of the structure in there. So at this particular location, uh, there is a, certainly a, a cap in terms of, well, what's, what's the total... Uh, area that can be developed. So what we're looking at here shows a, little, a first phase and a second phase, and that essentially would, would, would end, if you will, the expansion opportunities um, at this particular site. Uh, the applicants have been moving forward through other permitting activities associated uh, with the cannabis cultivation, um, and uh, through discussions with uh, the chief of police uh, and certainly an examination and and, and working through the applicable rules and regulations associated with this type of operation, we are showing a circumferential path uh, around the building. Again, a long linear building. Excuse me. And the, uh, excuse me, the chief of police uh, has supported this type of circulation to allow for uh, 
a greater security at the site. In addition, of course, the required security measures that need to be implemented. Uh, I do one one question for sure. Uh, my understanding, we've run this before. The buffer I thought was 100 feet from conservation. No, their jurisdiction certainly is 100, um, and typically within the outer 50 feet um, is an area that can be. I'm going to use the term developed with appropriate safeguards put in place. Okay. Anything inside that uh, the 50 foot buffer. So uh, that's, that 50, right that's within 50 feet? Yes. So this line right here represents the 50 oh. foot. So there's a portion of, if you will, the truck turning movements um, as well as circumferential drive to get around the loading dock. The right are now, okay. right now are within that 50 foot buffer. And you had something from conservation, you said? Yes. It's uh, in the back of the um, well, application the packet, but I do have a copy of it. The original letter said retail, but it's not retail. They corrected right. it with a, with a wholesale. Yeah, so I just uh, spotted that because earlier you said it's not a sale, mm -hmm. and here it says retail business. I'm going right now. No, wholesale. it's strictly wholesale. There'll be no, no retail. No People won't be driving in and out to buy what any of the other of, things uh, that you see up in Northampton. What mm -hmm. kind of um, production are you expecting? We're <coughs> starting off with a Tier 1 um, cultivation license, which allows us to do 5,000 square feet of mature canopy, which is a less than an eighth of an acre of, of flowering. Um, so we'd have some other rooms that would have vegetative growth getting ready to go into the flower room, and we'd have another room that would have our, our stock, our mothers for cloning, things of that what kind of, what, what kind of, well, how many pounds or we, per year? Yeah. We would be between 2,000 and 2,500 pounds, which is not a lot of production. And, yeah. you know, that, we, that would be max, 2,200. Um, INSA in East Hampton has, a, I think, a Tier 7 license, which is up to 70,000 square feet of flowering right. canopy. Right. With, with one expansion <coughs> and, and Max's property out, we'd be able to go to about a two-tier, um, which give us 10,000 square feet of flowering canopy. And in the, in, 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 in the building is actually set up so that we would need the support for the offices and, and handle the expansion. And that's why the first initial one building would be 15,000 square feet because it'd be set up for uh, to be able to expand one time. Offices, right. bathrooms, and you know those, all those things have to go in. Clean rooms, vaults, and those things can be used for the expansion. But with the Do expansion I, would only hold the flowering and some more vegetative growth for the production of cultivation. So, <laughs> so are you asking tonight for this extension to be included in the? Uh, no, 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 no. We're showing this so that so we can see that we, we can yeah. only go so far with this project, and right. that's our future intentions are. Right. That's it. That's all we can yeah. do. Tonight, this is well, this is right here. That's what we're asking but for. If I can, but if I can yeah. clarify, so tonight we're requesting a variance um, from the oh, front right. setback, yeah. which is 75 feet. So we're, re we're requesting a 55 foot variance to allow us to go to a, a proposed setback of 20 feet. So clarify we would be asking that that variance would lend itself to a future expansion as well that's so if, 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 if granted if granted it I, don't, I don't know what that means and i mean i know what you mean verbally but yes. um so that tells me mm -hmm. or i think it tells us that when we decide this we have to not look at a whatever did it maybe that's uh 225 it's about 14,000 square feet no, 170 feet long 170 feet so really i have to ask myself well how would that look if it was 250 feet long i think you do I think I do too, yeah. which doesn't weigh well. I mean, that's a big, I'll, I'll tell you what, what, what's the concern. That's, this is a pretty significant building, inches from the road. It's close to the road. You know, it's like, you, you look at how it's right there. 20 feet for a building of this magnitude, hugging the road is, is a. Well, it's not 20 feet from the road, if I can clarify. So it's, it's 20 feet from the right of way. So oh, it's a, time out, I, I understand. Okay. It, it, and it could be the road at some point as well. Thank you don't know. But regardless, that's a moot point. That doesn't really matter. The fact is, it's a big structure yep. near the road, and oh my goodness, they can get much bigger. 20 and 30 percent. So if you're familiar with the tobacco facility, the tobacco facility is the same distance off of the road. And what you would probably typically Which tobacco see, facility? Um, the old, I mean, the old um, bar, right? So this is actually a lot closer to the road. Which you could probably fit about... Which was 10 of those right. into the structure. <laughs> but, what, but what I'm saying, so this is, so if you look at the structure that they're proposing, this is going to be a nondescript structure. This is going to be something that you might find a dressage, dressage area within. Um, 
it's I'm not. It's, 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 pardon me, but it's legal to grow marijuana in this state. So that, if that's where you're going, that has, that's not what we're talking about. What happens inside this building is, if it's legal, it doesn't really matter. No, I'm, I'm not talking about that at all. Then why do, why do you say if it's a dressage? I don't understand mm -hmm. what that means. That's the whole I know story. what it is, but why, does, why is that relevant? Because what I'm saying is this could be easily an agricultural building. The, ag the area is agricultural. There's farms up and down there. You know, there, there's, you know. No, no that's, but that's not, I'm not even, I'm, that's not I'm talking about. I'm just talking about you putting a big structure yeah. next to the road with the potential of being 35% bigger down the road. It's just, right. it's a big structure. It's all I'm trying to get out. Is it? And if you say, sure, this guy's there, that's true. And when that guy was built, the road was probably uh, a, a, well, a half of a Yeah, that, that's 1,800 structure. I haven't, haven't seen that much. I, I recognize that the thing you intend is that this, the style of the building is not intended to be incongruous, incongruous excuse me, with this right neighborhood. But also, since this is not a facility that's really subject to tremendous advertising needs uh, or visual purposes, the applicants are looking to that, that may be correct, but certainly under this proposal, uh, right. the applicants are looking to, frankly, put up a row of our providing um, <coughs> along the frontage uh, for, again, for screening and security purposes. And there's very specific part, part, part state of the, regulations related to the, the, the law. Part of what we sit here place. is not what you're proposing, but what 50 years, 25 years, whatever, from now, what that could be used for. If it's an agricultural zone, agreed. No, it's actually, it's industrial, industrial, industrial restrictions. Industrial restrictions. Industrial. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, it would be well, a manufacturing facility that has a lot of trucks coming in, a lot bigger than you need for this, as well, down the road. So that's a concern well, with the traffic, the flow, and all that, because it's not an easy way to get, that's a very busy area. That would be a that would limited too. to use, for sure. But anyway, um, and that's not my purview, but it's just a concern of the size and the use, too. Uh, well, the reason why it's wide is because the setup of the way the production flows through the building. I understood. Yeah. I, I get it. And we actually put some tight tanks in here so no matter what happens in the so future John, when we this second line is my hundred foot that I was talking about right yes buffer. that's the hundred hundred foot buffer passing through that, that portion came into that pretty big sticking point at one point Paul if I remember correctly it was through the building you said yeah, yeah you the so, we had the issue down the street <laughs> just recently with that oh, I see. Well, touching 15 so you're talking this line yeah. It's I'm surprised. Dotted line. You guys have some. You have. A, you said you had a letter from the conservation right, right committee. Yeah. It's right here. And this this road around it, mm -hmm. that speaking with the police chief and the fire chief, the fire chief especially, right. they want 360 around it just in case. Yeah. Well, there's a tree. Fire. There's a, there's there's a tree belt here. Right. Yeah. They have they have to there's a tree belt here next to the road. They're usually about 20 feet now. Will that tree belt stay there? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the arbor buddies on the other side of that. We can. It's not feasible. This is a picture of right. the field. Right. Yeah. I know the area. Um, what? Uh, uh, yeah, the tree belt's on the right on the other property line. So. I mean, we surmise what you were thinking, but nowhere does it say it's a cannabis facility <laughs> until you guys came in tonight. Well, it's, it certainly and, is intended and, to be a... And it's on this plan that you gave us tonight, but it's nowhere else. It's what, not intended it to be... a secret? What? No, 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 frankly, no. The, uh, <laughs> uh, the applicants have been before planning... They're waiting, uh, they're waiting for it to become the uh, to, <laughs> And have had their police... Out, excuse me, yeah. the community outreach meeting as well. Uh, all is a part. Is, uh, all the abutters know. have been mailed. Right. We've, done a, we've done everything. Um, according to the state, Speaking you know, the permit. Butters, we have a butters list in here. Which is some I trust. Yeah, we we had our community yeah, outreach I'm meeting, and we sent everything to yeah, the like abutters, yeah. um, certified mail, and some of the abutters were at our community outreach meeting. Oh, there we are. Okay. What were some of the comments that were made by the abutters? At Retail, the time? miners, security. 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 And the uh, chief of police was there. We thought we already met with him several times. We've got to put a comprehensive plan together with them to fire a disaster for emergency. That's why we have this, this, this road around here, and they want full access, which is going to be cameras around the whole building. Is that, is that going to be used by trucks for deliveries? Or emergency only. So, like, what are they going to back in? This is just a loading dock right here. 
Okay. Yeah, Which so would be okay. representative here? Truck will come the building down. was designed to have product flow through the door. It'll come in, truck, truck back up, in. boom, right. and then he's out. Right. This is just yeah. for emergency vehicles. Right. Yes, I was a co-founder of Berkshire Brewing years ago, and we set up the whole brewery, and, and, and we added on the building that we could bottle in line, and we could keg in line, and, and the product flow was very important, so that's why we, we designed this. Yes, well, this the state oh. has some pretty specific things, like I guess you're supposed to have two vans with no things on them, and Oh, for transportation. Oh, for transportation. Leave at the same time, and one has the stuff in it, and the other one doesn't. And they can't follow the same. Yeah. Oh, it's straight it's literally, we're we're opening a recreational pharmaceutical company. Uh, we'll have more cameras in CVS, more security. Um, I, I, I again opened a brewery years ago, and, and opening a brewery is very easy to do. Opening a distillery is very easy to do. I think they have. What is it? Three months that you have to back up everything. Three months, yes. Three months, yeah, okay. 90 days. And my son worked at the place over uh, by the airport. Okay. There, he was the IT guy. Is, th is this, they were kind of adamant about that um, circular path being included? Fire was more adamant about the that. Fire's the the right. fire was the fire was so fire. they can get, yeah. There, there'll be some, you know, emergency egresses is that, throughout. Is that, the, is that paved? It'll be, it's gravel. This is paved, just for, <coughs> just as over right here. Mm -hmm. So that means you'll be, you'll be down here again, right? That's where you'll be at the end of the day? What we're hoping to do is we want to do some little perking closer to the intermittent stream because we, we can get a little bit closer there and shift this down just a skosh this way so we have more of a buffer. And then Arbor Vitae here and on the inside of the tree line so that you won't be able to see it coming up this way. Mm -hmm. And coming down this way, you'll just see the face of the building. But this path, we'll have to circle around. As yes, we'll have to do that. Or if we can get access and build it this way and come through this way. In, in, in parallel to building, they want they wanted to require at least two full sides here, but we wanted to do the whole around the uh, and landscape, of course. So this is you guys are this is owned by uh, will be owned by Poverty Plains LLC. The property. The is, property. Is no, but who owns, who, who owns who's going to own? Is that a different corporation? That it, there's two I'm, corporations right what? now, and uh, we're negotiating. A land lease with ourselves. We have, and, um, we're tough, uh, tough negotiation. We're tough. It's a, exactly <laughs> tough. Sit down over here for that one. <laughs> we're trying to figure out to do this the right way, so that right. you know, there's you know, we have the state and all the baloney to go through. So we want to do everything correctly. Have you owned that piece of property for a while? No, we uh, bought it in the summer. In the summertime. With the intention of putting this building up. With, with the hopes of putting the building up. Um, if we can't put that building up, there are a few building lots on that property where we can put houses up. But so what's a hardship? What we'd rather be doing. What's a hardship? Soil. Soil. And topography, but generally soil, wetland. But you purchased a lot knowing that was there. No, they didn't. We delineated the lot after they purchased it. How do you, were you, <laughs> party, were you party when they bought the lot? It was after. No. Then, then how would you know? Did, they, did you tell them you didn't know that that was wetland? We did not know that was our way. I know, no, 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 no. I, you can walk in the field, and, and if you don't have to have a surveying team tell you. I mean, you guys are professionals. You're intelligent men, and you got a probably relatively good deal on this piece of property because of the wetland that you didn't know land. about. So, I, I challenge that thought that they didn't know it was wetland because we it wasn't delineated. We didn't know how high up the, the wetlands came. Was we didn't know. We knew but this was wetlands. But like you, you but you but but you brought the bought the property with the intention of putting a significant structure on it. And you did what did what did you think? We didn't realize there was as least the amount of space that there was. We believed that there was more right. space than there was. Right. We didn't know the wetlands came so far up. So I, you knew there was you, we you knew, knew, what, you knew there was the some brook, wetland. There was some wetland. We, we thought it was down here. And the hardship was that you didn't, and we you didn't we anticipate have. this? Is that what I'm hearing? We didn't anticipate the wetlands going so far up and close to the property. So what's that saying they use about the law? <laughs> Not being an excuse. You guys are businessmen. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm just trying to establish a hardship. Sure. And if the hardship is that you didn't one. do proper diligence to determine that the building lot was appropriate for the significant structure that you're going to put on it, I'm still looking for a hardship. The hardship is Ignorance about, is not a hardship. It's, no, it's not. It's, 
that's not how the law is written. The way the way it's written is, if there's a hardship associated with this project, that this property that doesn't affect other properties that's specific to this property, then we can request a variance. We have that right. But what's the hardship? That's what we're asking. The soils. The fact that we have we have soils and a slope. All right. That so when these <coughs> gentlemen looked at the property, contrary to popular belief, when these guys looked at the property, there's a wetland. There's a stream down here. It's easy to tell down here that there's a stream. Oh, yeah. What's not easy to tell, and, and frankly, we didn't know exactly where the line was until we delineated it because you look at soils, you look at signs of hydrology, and you look at vegetation. Now, someone that goes out there and looks at a field, they might know it starts to get wet down by the stream. You can actually see, can you kind of see the signature here? So you could expect, if you went to the right time of year, that this would be wet. However, this, the wetland line is actually up here because you have hydric soils. The vegetation alone does not tell the story. The signs of hydrology alone do not tell the story. It's a tripartite method. It's three things you look at when you're donating wetlands. And when we looked at those wetlands, we absolutely found that they were here. To, to, to your surprise, unfortunately, that's the situation that they found themselves in. That said, we do have a I'm sorry, a soil and topographic hardship by definition. Um, which affects the location of where the building could go. If we could, if, if we could go farther back, we certainly would. We're trying to balance, I guess, between the, the zoning setback and the wetlands. That's where we find ourselves here. So that's why we're requesting the 55 foot setback because it made sense to try to respect as much as we can uh, associated with the wetlands yeah, and also respect as much as we can what, off what, College Highway. You, you, you're, you're, that's, I understand what you're saying and the hardship, if you were to put a house on this, th there would be, you wouldn't need a variance. You'd probably fit a house in there without a variance. So there wouldn't be a hardship for that. So industrial so, B, though. I'm sorry, uh, industrial restricted. So, so as, the, as the building grows in footprint, then the hardship becomes relevant. So I'm just saying that, you know, you guys, you're, you're businessmen, you're open up, this is probably at 2,000 pounds of, of, of marijuana a year selling at, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty impressive revenue, I'm guessing, with the p potential of growing maybe to 3,000 pounds, right? So the reason I'm saying all that is that this is, a, this is a significant business. And if you went into it and bought a piece of property, I would, have to, I would have to believe that, that you two guys with two corporations coupled together, complex, look at a property like this with a business that's, that's, that's new to the marketplace, complex, that you don't have the foresight to understand what you're buying, it doesn't quite make sense to me. I, I, I struggle with that. Looking at the property and we're looking at the, the history on Google Earth, and you can go back, they've hated this thing, they've hated this thing for many, many years. So, it, it, and, and, and we didn't, that's. Before you brought this property, how much did you look into the law about growing marijuana in this state? A little bit or a lot? I've been, yeah, we've been growing marijuana for a while medically okay so you're pretty into it yeah yeah i'm not I, yeah my my background's production yeah. my, my point my research right I, 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 right you, you you bought a brewery another complex business you, you it just you guys are you're smart guys i i know that because you wouldn't be doing this if you weren't isn't it this is a pretty ambitious undertaking with with significant growth potential and to, to go to go into a piece of property that's Significant you're, you're, growth potential. Well, that doesn't a, matter. It, right. It, it would be if that building could go to be sure. And, and that's why you, you know you're smart enough. To, you're smart enough to come here, not ask for a building that will get you where you need. To, where you're looking down in the future. So everything everything about you is forward looking. Everything, except this. Why is that? That's what I'm struggling with because this is this is not a this is not a little building. This is a significant building being put 20 feet from a major road. This is like 55 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour speed limit here. People are humming down the road, tractor trailers, everything's humming here. And you guys are stuffing this huge building as close, closer than, I mean, 20 feet? Is that what we're talking here? 20, 20 feet? You know, there's, there's, well, there's 15 there's from 15, the side of the road like to 20, the property. 30, 30, right away, I know. Right away. But I, I mean, think that's all I'm saying. It's like, for, and the hardship is, is, I, I, is, you know, you can cite the letter to law, and everything you said is, is I, I understand. And, but... When you establish a hardship, it's like we come in and we have old people that can't can't get can't get to the to their door, so they put an overhang in to keep the snow away from the door. There's a hardship. I can see that. I can I can feel that. 
guys, I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, you're not making it easy. <clears throat> I'm going to request a, a question of Mr. Didi, if I may. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I'm not up to where we are with accepting cannabis in this town. Was right, so, so in town meeting, they voted down any retail cannabis, and I'm, I'm going to say everything wrong, of course, but it's close enough. No recreational retail in the town of South Park. That's if all. it did pass, it would have been one store, right? It did not okay. pass, or 1.1, yeah. whatever that right. number came out right. to be. So that's dead. What did pass is grow, I want to say, I'm going to say manufacture or processing. Harvest. Or harvesting facilities did pass, and I believe it's in an industrial zone. Certain zones it's only allowed in. Uh -huh. so been, it's been passed in this town is what it, you're telling yes, me. in okay. this town. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, and went, I believe, to the Attorney General's office and also passed their muster. So it is 110% legal to grow, harvest, and judging by East Hampton and, and the other damn town, you know, three, 400 people in line, apparently there's a damn demand for it, too. <laughs> you know? No, I mean, right? I mean, let's face it, we watched TV the last three nights. It's crazy after last week. So yeah, and I don't, and I kind of laughed, too, with these two young men thinking, you know, they can grow, too. I don't, I, you know, I smoked pot a million years ago when I was in high school with some of you, but I don't know what, what does 2,000 pounds of pot look like? <laughs> no, but seriously, and then how much do you, like, so how much do you move a it's day? A you know, I hear two vans, I hear the stories. I mean, you're talking ounce bags or, or whatever they're selling up there in East Hampton. You know, so yeah, you guys say that's a lot of pot. Maybe it is, but I don't know how much actually gets manufacture there's nothing to do with this meeting. no I'm no just, the argument I think the argument is it's a lot of building I for that kind of that. and I and, and, and to be quite frank with all of you the young man in the lighter blue shirt here from Berkshire Probably, Brewery yeah. called me about a year and a half ago this process started he lives where do you live sometimes Bahamas Jamaica Jamaica so the million emails back and forth I'm like who is this clown <laughs> okay <laughs> And a ton of questions. And I actually said, geez, you should look at the rose, the old rose garden on the industrial way. That didn't pass planning board by a super majority, by one vote. I was on the planning board at the time, but now that 500 foot to school thing is kind of a little different. That might qualify. So I believe they did reach out to the gentleman. He was not interested in selling. I think he was interested in partnering. They came back with a few other parcels in town because the gentleman here from Berkshire Brewery actually lives in Southway. That's probably where this whole mess started. So he reached out and said, I'm looking at this place by the tobacco box. Or the, I'm sorry, the cigar bar. And I'm like, geez, I didn't even know there was a parcel there. Being a young person in town, you know, I wasn't part of the process of the whole cigar movement. Um, but some the old farmer there broke up all those pieces, and there's a parcel there. I believe I actually reached out to our conservation people and said, I know there's a streamway back there, but is there really wetlands? And I believe my friend on the conservation went and took a peek and said, well, there is some, but there isn't some. They should be okay. So I think they did do their homework for the most part. Yeah, you're right. They're 110 miles an hour in front of everything on everything else. We went back and forth on this parcel. He's like, hey, I'm all in. I'm buying it. It looks like it's going to work great. I don't think they had the intentions of wetlands really that far. I don't think they even want to be in front of you. But this is where we are today, and they will do the process all the way through. Then I believe apply to the state. Which is, I don't even know if that takes another year or six months or three years. Who knows? But there's a process involved. They seem to hire the, at least for now, the most reputable, you know, guy in town as far as where that goes. So I think they're doing things right. I don't think they thought there was that much of a wetland issue there. And quite frankly, I don't even know how that. If, of course, my opinion is if they go that farming route, does that even apply? I, I don't know, but I don't think they are because it's a business that's owned industrial even though there's farming around them. But what I, what, my, concern, I my concern, my concern, I brought it up. It's a big building. Not, not only that, but yeah. my concern was is we've had conservation issues where they flat out said no, not going beyond 100 foot. Right. Now they're saying, well, we'd go 50. Well, it's interesting, right? I think right? Yes, it is interesting. Like the auto parts store, right? But Same thing. Mess, they were 15 right? feet in, they wouldn't, we had to move it. Right. 
So what's guys, the difference? I'd rather have, I'd like some more clarification from sure. conservation on that. But why seem, that's okay now. That, from my own education. Absolutely. And they have seemed to. Because that, that, you know, wouldn't be able to do it without it. I agree. That's right. what they're saying. Right. So, so possible hardship, but. Let's if, but if they got if they putting their foot down on hundred foot somewhere else and somebody had to deal with it, right? Why aren't we here? It confuses this board. Right. I can clear if it's if sure. you're okay through the chair. So the conservation commission. So there's there's two different regulations we're dealing with when we're dealing with the Wetlands Protection Act and the bylaw. Okay. So you have the Wetlands Protection Act, which is a state regulation that is, that's administered locally, and we have the bylaw that's administered locally. The state doesn't get involved in the bylaw. The state regulation says anything within 100 feet of a bordering vegetated wetland has to be submitted to the Conservation Commission either through a request for any activity, either through a request for determination or a notice of intent. Those are two filings we can submit. To the state? Uh, no, to no, the to Conservation local. Commission. It goes, it's, it's local rule. The, the, the local commission makes the decision. However, it is a state regulation. So that gets administered locally. In addition to that, there's the bylaw. Okay, Southwick does have a bylaw. And it has very specific regulations as it as it talks about intermittent streams, which it protects with, uh, differently than the than the Wetlands Protection Act, as well as the inner 50, the 50, the first 50 feet from the wetland. Okay, so from here to here, they look at that closer. All right. So if it was forested or if there's very specific uh, characteristics, they are absolutely concerned about that. But to clarify, there's. There's okay. absolutely work that's always permitted. You look at Congamon Lakes. We're right. within, we're, sometimes we're right on the bank. Mm -hmm. but, but to your line of point there, O'Reilly Auto Parts falls in that same thing. They had a piece of the parking lot they weren't allowed to keep, so we had to move the building. So O'Reilly Auto Parts. So that's Parts a worker. So why are they allowing this to be in there? So just to clarify, O'Reilly actually, I think it impacts wetlands, don't they? Impact well, so does this. No, I well, you're in the, the buffer bottom. zone. Right, no, no, but they, I think they are actually impacting wetlands, but or they're very close to it, at least when we were involved. We had to move it away from the wetlands, 50 feet. That, and that, yeah, but they were right. It was 15 foot was in it. Right, they're, okay. they're pretty close. Well, now you're talking about the 50 foot is more critical, the first 50. No, it's, just, it's really the same scenario. Right, but they're inside of it. So, so is so Orion. wasn't allowed to be inside of it. No, Orion is 50, not the... At 50. That, but they're not inside that 50. Yeah, they are. Right here? Yeah, we are. But, the, but I'm still saying there, there's right an, I, I have a confusing argument that I'd like to have clarified. Why there's no intermittent stream over here? No, the, the, there's a, there's an intermittent stream way over here. There's intermittent stream. So they still have a buffer that, zone of 50 foot that they've applied, here. and 100 they like. I did both right. proper projects. Right. I but, can tell you that they're they're very similar. They're both buffer zone projects. Agreed. Okay. And they're both very close. I can tell you O'Reilly Auto Parts is not over 50 feet from the wetland. There's but no this is. There. No, it's not. It's th that's so not in the buffer zone. That is in the buffer zone. Wait a minute. I think we're missing each other. Can you say it one more time. Fifty Sorry. foot line is right here, right? This is the fifty. So uh, you have to be outside of that. Highlighter. Correct. No. Yeah. Not necessarily. Well, well, okay, that, not necessarily. Not necessarily there. They had to move the parking lot outside that line. There's, they were fifteen foot still in. Still within it. They're fifty. They're not within it. You sure? Yeah. This is more least, than 15 feet. This we, is like 30 feet. The plan, they were this is like half the buffer is taken up in that parking lot. Yeah, so right There's nowhere near that over there. I'd have to see the, there newest, the newest I, plan. I promise okay. you, because I worked, I moved it to get out of it. They okay. actually turned the building okay. to get it to fit. So, so what I'm saying is, is, why is this all of a sudden okay? So it's because they cannot do the project without it. That's what they're saying. That's absolutely true. Riley could have, but they, they still moved it. But they're close to the road too, but not 20 feet. Well, there's a balancing act between. So, 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 so they're playing the same. The, you know, Agreed. The same. So, th so scenarios. I'm saying make this smaller. They did to fit. Well, you didn't say that. Well, that's the problem. But you're you're saying you can be in there, but you can't. If that's the conservation so you're rule. Saying, so let me back up. You're saying <coughs> I make, still make want to clarify small. the conservation why they're allowing here. this much into the buffer zone. So this point here. And they wouldn't otherwise. Two two properties they have an issue with that I, I've been involved with. So one's on Sam West. Which one's that? Where the uh, the camps were. We weren't allowed to sell building because it was too close to the buffer zone. The existing building? Yeah. And that was 100 feet. I did that one too. Yeah, that was 100 feet. <laughs> and they wouldn't budge. You're a lot of trouble. And they wouldn't budge. They caused all the trouble. 
Yeah. If you remember right, they wouldn't budge, so he ended up keeping the building, so he, he lost the sale. Which, the, I thought the, the, variance, third the variance was between the buildings. That's what the variance was for. Because that last building, the area was so close to the buffer zone, they couldn't use it. All right, so, so well, I'm we'll saying we're in, the same, yeah. we're in the same we're in the same problem. All right, so, so let's But I don't have a good clarification. So than we have We need to do it because they can't do it without it. That's we, what this says. Well, we, we cannot do a, we cannot do I, the building that we're proposing I, I, without I, it regard, that's my regardless. Point. So even if we were over over 50 feet away. Okay, but, but they're supporting it. Correct. But they haven't supported others. They, so that's my confusion. With the, on, so not you, well, not Levesque. It's conservation I'm concerned about. No, but I guess where they so make I, their decision line. Why? So, so just to clarify. Because I've got to get a variance so they can agree that with us. We don't do the variance. They're they're saying they can't do the project because they're already threatening the buffer zone for the hundred foot. Never mind the fifty foot. Then they're allowing fifty foot to be the buffer zone now. That's that's okay. The four was a hundred on other properties. I'm saying the precedent they've set is coming to us saying we need hundred feet, and we don't have that. So well, we have fifty, and they're saying, oh, okay. That that doesn't sit well with pragmatic logic. That says you need 100 foot. You've told us before you need 100 foot, and they wouldn't bet, budge on it. Now they're budging, so it's not a question for you. It's a question for them to understand and explain why that this is different. Because you said they're very similar, and I agree with you. So why are they allowing that? Is that a question? The question of conservation. Okay. Not a question for you. It's not. It's not your job. That's their job. Your job is to show them what you have, and you guys go to the conservation and say, this is what we're dealing with. And they said, well, here's my 100-foot buffer, and they you should have said, ooh, their, you're their in trouble. Their job is the, as the Conservation Commission is try to get us to avoid impacts, minimize our impacts, and then if we do have impacts, mitigate for those impacts, just okay. the same as you folks have. You, you guys are on the, on the zoning side. They're on the conservation side. You guys want us to comply with the zoning as much as possible. Correct. If we have a specific hardship, You'll consider that hardship. It's no different with the Conservation Commission. So, do you do you want to ask for yeah, that I do. clarity? Okay. I do. So, all right. So, I have another another point to, to raise. Um, the, again, the size of the building is a bit of a challenge here, and, and you're trying to shoehorn in, and I appreciate that. Um, uh, but now I go to the next part. What's inside the building? And I look at uh, the growth area, which is this. And this, that's a primary concern what we're doing here, growing, right? And I have to just ask, there's an awful lot of volume that's here that has nothing to do with growing. It's administrative, it's changing rooms, it's conference rooms, three offices. That's a lot of um, space that's going for non-growing. And the question I'm trying to get to is that, um, is there a way that you could divorce the, this part of this business from this part of this business and turn this into just simply like you talk about a, an, an, if you go into any agriculture, you're trying to compare to a barn or a dressage a area where most barns don't even have a bathroom. But this barn has a pretty elaborate office complex attached to it. Well, we need I, I, to okay. have. All right, so I just, it's a question. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. To answer the question, all these rooms are temperature controlled. Mm -hmm. Nobody can get in. You have to change your clothes. So uh, we have a men's room here. You come and take your street clothes off. Okay. Walk in your underwear to this room here. Mm -hmm. Put your work clothes on. Okay. Now you're in a clean. This whole Contamin is yeah. con contamination free. The whole thing. Okay. Right. Um, we need offices to function as a business. Um, we need bathrooms for the offices besides the bathrooms that in the, the employees only. Um, we need a mechanical room. We need a break room for the employees as well. But, but all this area from here, basically from here over here, is going to be all temperature controlled, humidity controlled. It's going to have HEPA filters so there's no spores of pollen coming in. It's, it's, we're literally opening. So, so, mean, so, it's, okay. so it's a very the, clean, the, clean the, environment. Understood. Yep. And, and the, the question I'm getting to is if, if, if you had to reduce the footprint of this building, could you afford to divorce some of the functionality attached to this end away from this building? That's the question I'm trying to ask. Is there a way to make this building smaller? I don't know. If, you, I don't well, think hold on, we hold can on, take on, it. Are you, you, 
separate the two two different I'm just asking a like question I'm just seeing a lot a lot a small of small building to have one I, and then uh, no, no, no 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 or I'm just make the no all, all, all I'm asking is that you're putting a big building when I look at <coughs> when I, and, and now that I'm a little more educated about the process so maybe it does maybe the question doesn't make as much sense anymore but the question I was asking is that it, it, it's a I don't know if we ever got a height of this like 35 feet that I hear or something I'm but it's a, it's a it's just a big building and I'm is just a, asking is there's there a 14 foot um, corner so the peak was a really shallow peak it's not a 35 it won't well, it's more it's more it's more the it the, wouldn't be the, the, the it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it is it wouldn't be like this this is much more than 14 feet in the corner do, do, do you know do you know what this dimension is from from here to here no, because this was just drawn arbitrarily, arbitrarily, okay? This, we only have... Uh, but it, but, it's, but it's, not, it's not arbitrary to us. It's very, I understand very that. And I, I, yeah, no, that's... that's, a, that's um, this expansion was basically to add on more canopy space and more vegetative. Is there an equation that, that calculates surface area per... Um, uh, licensees, the license per pound uh, for every, is it they control you by canopy or it goes canopy. by canopy. Okay. Uh, so this is, is this the canopy? Yeah. These That's two the canopy. rooms, those these, two rooms. The okay. white part of these two rooms would equal. 5,000 square feet. Okay, that's what, you're, that's what you're trying to get licensed for. 5,000 5, square feet. Right, okay. Right. This is a new this is a new industry. Right. Yes. It, and that's tier one. That's the lowest. That's the lowest. That's that's the lowest tier. So, so the minimum, gonna, you, you have to go in, you have to have at least right. that in order to, to, to start a business. Well, that's what they start at. Right. Yeah, right. It's, yeah. Yeah. So it's the get, cheapest, smallest license they make. To get this expansion, yeah. you have to go for another license. Yes, we Correct. do. We'd have to go for it to add on to the tier two, to get we, to tier two. And that back. would be another, you know. All over again. Gotcha. Yep. Did we get a length of the building? I can get us. Yeah, let's get it. Says yeah. So, so they would check all this up and bar over here half. if they expand? 170 plus. So. By proportion. Oh, you said 170. Actually, I, I guess. I think like he, he had, had ended up drawing this to, uh, to close to just to. Uh, the side set. So, the, uh, so side, half side of that would be about 85. So I'd say 270, 170 plus 85. So yeah, 250. 250. 250. If you put on an expand that expansion, do you think is that on this side of the building of the it, office? It, it was on this <laughs> side here because the, 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 the it was designed so the loading dock would come in here and all like the, basically the biggest thing coming in would be soil like once a month or so right, on so pallets. So if the soil and the bulk of the, those things came in here, then the growing would be surrounded Split here, up. and then all the process, the trimming, the drying, curing, the secure vault, the packaging vault. And then the one shipping door, and, and it, 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 coming in with your ma major materials it needs to be centrally located. Another, uh, product, another uh, question of just which is how, how many which is our right here? We parking would have 12 have. to 16. Right. So this parking area is producing for this is more than that's more than, more than, than yeah. we need. Yeah, we. This was just we, yeah. This is just another drawing depicting a an image of what, but what the concept we're trying to do. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's root. It's, it's, it's all kind of it's all conceptual, really. Right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. We're not having customers coming in. Yeah, I, don't like that. I don't want retail customers. Can I no. can I ask a question of the board? Um, it was suggested that you know the, the building if the building could get smaller. Is there a certain setback you know if we're talking about 20 now is there a certain setback that is more palatable um you can see that we're obviously we have some significant constraints with the wetlands and the 50 foot setback you can see that um but <coughs> just for discussion how, how deep is this building do, you, do we know that i mean there's it's a number of edges 85. Yeah. yeah i don't i don't know how to answer that question I guess to say that the answer to that question would be why you know, the board would just wouldn't stop it because it wouldn't fit in the buffer zone. Okay. So we would push to come no, to us. That's not right. To go to conservation center, there's no room. Can't do it. Well, See I can saying? tell you our approach. Um, so your, your approach, you explain. So why the soil, and so they create an argument for them to say. We would we would kind of look the other way a little bit. Um, we're, we're we've been pretty staunch on that. That's that's why I'm taking the position I have. We've run into some pretty head banging arguments or with disagreements with 
what conservation will allow and what they won't. So mm -hmm. the consistency is under suspect for me, where this board is pretty consistent. I think you guys know that when you come. We, we yeah. ask the same types of questions. We don't wa you know, waver too much on certain issues. Mm -hmm. But when we're, we're forced to say, here's a setback because now there's a hardship, well, the conservation's allowing the hardship. Others, they wouldn't. So to, to your, if it was done, conservation, you wouldn't be this far. <laughs> See what I'm saying? They, yeah, they, we can't, you can't put a building there. Um, I understand if there's a stream running through here, you know what I mean, I get that. It's, yeah. it's pretty far away. The top really. topography does dip down. There's a, there's a pat plateau, and then I, I know the lay of the land back there, but um, that's the frustration that I think you see from the college so here. And it, it's just that it is a big building on a major highway through town. Uh, it's not in the center of town. It's on the outskirts. Um, it's quiet as far as that way, but it's community stuff. It's farming. There was tobacco, for sure. Um, but I, I my, my suspect, and, and I'm going to be really blunt with you, my suspect is that this is a good little tax base. They want to push this in because there's really not much else they're going to be able to put there in a piece of property that you bought. Um, it just seems very inconsistent with what they've done in the past. That bothers me. So I just want to, I just, for the record, I want to be clear. The Conservation mm -hmm. Commission has not approved anything yet. Um, so we went to them informally and request, uh, told them what we wanted to do. Just so, I just don't want to, okay. I just yeah, want to be clear. It says informally on the list. Yeah. 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 But I just so that you understand, uh, the commission did not make a decision. There was no formal application issued. We showed them the concept plan. Right. We explained okay. to them that we were trying to balance between buffer zone disturbance, wetland, potential wetland disturbance, and the, the front setback. Um, so they're, they're considering the same uh, plan that you guys are. I have they, but they have, but they haven't for, formally done for it. For a select board member that's here. Hi, Mike. Sure. How much more trouble can I get? <laughs> if, if this is done properly through the, the town system, shouldn't the conservation approve the plan before they get a variance? I don't even start with that on this. Because I, I don't know that answer. I do. Planning board says that we need to do our job before they can do theirs. Right. That's what they told us. Right. Conservation hasn't said that. <laughs> so just so you're clear, there's absolutely no way that they, anyone can dictate how we go forward. I can tell you that it's logical that we're going the way we go because we wanted to, we wanted to support the variance, which is logical. Mm -hmm. We're coming to you folks. Hopefully, if we we're granted a variance, then we would go before the planning board for uh, what would be site plan approval and a special right. permit. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think so. Is it by right? Uh, yeah, by I think right. Right. the new bylaws. I think by right. Right. Is. You know, uh, the, 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 there's a building in Aguam that they put up on a corner lot, and it looks an awful lot like this. I drive by with my wife because I used to live right down the street from that, and every time we drive by, she says, Jesus, Tommy, do you believe what they let these people do? Put this huge building right next to the road. And every time I say, I look at her and I say, we won't do that. I said, actually, I didn't say that's just a, no, that has no bearing on this at all. But, but I'm just telling you, that, that it's, a, it's, a, it's, a it's a big yeah. building. It's a and, and I, you know, it's interesting to me, one third of your, air, of your, volume, your footprint goes to growing marijuana in your canopy. Only one third of it. And, 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 I, and I have to go, I understand what you said, all the things you said. But that seems very um, in, in, a pro, in proportionate. You would well, think we, in, you we, would just think that it would be more. The canopy would be two thirds of the area, not one third of the area, and the, the, the periphery would fill up a third. The, the, and I look at this building, and I have, if some people come, people come in front of us, not you folks, because I don't know you, I don't know your history, I don't know anything about you, and that's okay. But some folks come here, and they've said this out loud: we ask for more, and then we accept less. Now I'm not saying you're doing that. But when I look at one third of the building, I say, "Hmm, is there motivation here?" Now, again, I don't know your 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 motives, and that's not really my concern. But I guess where I'm or I'm going where I'm going with this is that if you if you if you drive down a road, I'm looking at potentially 250 feet, potentially 10, 12 feet tall. I don't know. There's no restrictions on the height. We can't we can't control. We can't control. 30, so you guys feet. can have this a major <clears throat> wall. Uh, 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 almost the length of a football field, 20 feet off the, off the right of way. 
And that, that's to me is a lot just, of this design of this building came out of the concept from a friend of ours who has a dispensary out in eastern Massachusetts. Doesn't interest me whatsoever. Okay. What, what, what interests me is that, pardon me for being yeah, yeah, yeah. coarse there. Yeah, no problem. Forgive me. What, what interests me is some, 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 um, there's, a, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. You, you guys are putting together a challenging case. To, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but this is a, this is hardly a shoe in. Most of the things we look at are nothing like this. This is significant. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're putting a big building right next to the road and not a lot of attention other than Arbor Vitae's. Because what I would say is if I were designing a building like this and aware of the challenge I'm, you're putting in front of the town to accept this, not just us, but everybody and their brother is going to be struggling with this is what I gather. I don't know. Some groups may be more inclined than others because of different, you know, provisions they have to live within. You know, whether it's the, the, the wetlands or the, you know, that's what we're most, in, us in the conservation seem to have the harder rules to, to, to live by, it seems. But the reason I'm going through all that is that there's, 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 there's things that you, if, if we can get to a point of compromise, which I think we're going to have to end up, in my opinion, right now, this is a hard thing to get, get to swallow for me to get over this. I can't speak for these guys, and I, and I don't care to. They have their own opinions, and they can convince me otherwise. That's fine, too. But right now, you're putting together a very challenging case. And the reason I'm, I'm dragging you through all this thought is that there, there's, can the building get smaller, get more space uh, again, away from the road? Can, can the building be softer so it's not as much of a huge, I, I don't even know how we you know, control these guys once they walk away with their, body, with their setback, you know, with the provisions we put on this. But what I, what I, don't want to, what I wouldn't want to see is like a tobacco barn 20 feet from the road. Now, if it was 19, you know, 1910, and, and average people were driving horses and carriages, maybe that was okay. It was okay, actually. All the houses were right near the road because they didn't want to be away from the road. They, why would they not be away from the road? It was like their driveway. Well, that's not how it is anymore. That's not how it is anymore. This, this is, this is, uh, there's, there's, there's all kinds of traffic on this road. That's bad, very bad. And it's also one of the first <clears throat> things you see coming into our town. It's one of the first, first buildings, probably the first industrial building you see. We only want you to be proud of us. Well, good. That's good. So, okay. so and, and, I'll, and I'll say another thing. I'm guessing, and this is a guess, there's an awful lot of revenue coming out of this configuration. That's what I'm guessing. More than corn. So, well, and the reason well, I... Beer was more than corn, and it's not much, that much more than beer. Okay, so, so you're not making a lot of money. So, you, so you're, that's why your poverty... I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you put it right in the name, man. Yeah. It's right yeah, there. That's the only well, poverty we're going to find in this lot. You're trying to be I'm creative kidding. with the what, area. What, the reason I'm saying that is if you guys want to do this, I would say, with the compromise, one, try to make it, you know... This means this. You know this. This is nothing. This is cut out of a, out of an internet page. This has no no. This is you're not even. I have no idea what you're thinking for a building, but it's, it won't look like either one of these. I, it'll be look like something else because you haven't designed it yet, right? Well, we again. So it's a chicken and the egg, right? Do we design a whole building so you guys can say change it? No. Right. It's a no. It's no. A what, what I'm what I'm. It's, where, it's a good time to put put our two cents in. My two cents anyway. If you're if you can get past the, the encroaching on the boundary to the wetlands, and if you can get past being 20 feet off the right of way, and if you can get past, and not only asking for this building, but also oh, just a little bit more so we can grow, that's asking, that's again asking for more. So you're asking for a lot on every, every count. <coughs> you are. We, 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 yes, we, we have one chance to expand the building. I'm not telling you you're right? wrong. I'm just right. identifying this for what it is. You're asking for a lot. And all I'm saying is that if we can get to a smaller building, buy back some number of feet that makes it a little more palatable, make the building a little more attractive, maybe now we get something to talk about. I don't know. And again, I'm one guy, there's, there's one, two, three, four, four of us, five of us sitting across from you. So that's why. One of the things more. that people have suggested is to make it look more like a tobacco barn so that you don't go, wow. I mean, if it looks like the other mm. places that you see all over Southwick, it's easy enough to do from the outside aesthetically to make it look like less oh what's that i mean there's you pass by tobacco barns every day in southwick so and they don't make you go ooh. so just for uh so if we make it look like a barn no no we're i'm good? saying that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that could be a kind of good try. The blow a little bit would be to make it look more like it fits there right. than this big, gigantic industrial Well, let me, let me ask this, because the, 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 
what the reality we're looking at is trying to hide the side of the building. We have a tree line, and we're going to try to hide it with, with arbor vitaes. Come around the corner, so when you drive up the road, you're really not looking at that long building. Coming from the south up north is a different story, because obviously there's a parking lot, and you can't, you can't miss it. You won't be able to miss it. So the facade of the front. So I would step it. I, I, would, I would just I would start. You have, most of your rooms don't require more than an eight, seven-foot ceiling. Right? No, most we're at we no. But, well, the thing is, is that with with the lights and there's there's a height. Yeah. And but I'm saying these these are these are these are all of the rooms that you say you do so dearly need. You know, I'm just saying, suggesting if you put them up in front, your conferences, your bathrooms, all the things that don't need at this volume of space to support the growth beneath them. Well, That's all I'm suggesting. Let me, let me ask you this: you Turn the building around. No, this is here's here's the uh, right here's the roadway, right? Right. So you're, you're actually you're building your rooms are already there. So if, if it's because we can't have posts, we have to design a building right. that can carry Orders. the ceiling and the weight of the weight of the snow and all that. Just a thought. No, I, 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 I where we've been and we've, we've been, been haunted by the, yeah. the, the 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 aesthetics of it because we want to we we want to do the right thing. We want yep. we want to be able to look the right way. That's why we had wanted to hide the building from this way in that sense, because it is going to be a long building. We would have to talk with, what's his name? Yeah, we'll talk with Zach. And uh, see how they could conceptually, what's that? you got to watch his name on your But let's too. not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> no, well, uh, correct, correctly, but we're, we're, you're talking about what it looks like. I'm just trying, I'm trying to find, you know, you guys are, you're, like I say, you're asking a lot yeah. here, and it's just, you got to get, Get creative, man. Let me, let me take a pause here. I see yeah. some other people here. Would you have any comments that you'd like to make? Or well, I, you know, you're here as an interested party, I presume. So I'd like to take a look at what they presented at this party. Come on over. All we need is your name, serial rank. Never mind. I'm just <laughs> name, name and address. <laughs> For the record, that's all. Lee Hamburg, 48 okay. South Longyard Road. Now, to what extent is this the same or a little different than what, what you showed at, uh, at the outreach? At the outreach, it was it was kind of up this way. Yeah. The, so this the this flip side of this drawing is oh. the, the enlarged. Oh. Part. Okay. So that's what we showed at the outreach yeah. meeting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you lay it's down? Can we see it now? Oh, that's the bigger version. Oh, it's just a, oh, that oh. building's so much bigger. Oh my God! Look, look, now we're getting to scale. Oh, come on! Yeah. 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 Why'd you go and do that? Yeah. <laughs> we know what it's going to look like. That's why. Yeah. So it's really no different than what we yeah, showed well, you at the, yeah, it's the same. outreach meeting. It's the same. Mm -hmm. It just had to be bigger so people can see it from a distance. And you said it was going to look more like that than this? We haven't quite figured out exactly how okay. the aesthetics. Right. That would be the inside layout. Right. And these are all glow rooms, too, over here. I think that's an extra one if you want to take it. These aren't the only two. Here. No, I understand that. Yeah, yes. these are all also. Certainly we'll take your input. Well, obviously, you know, my interest, and, and I can't speak for the board of the South Lake Historical Society, is, you know, what are we going to see of the project, you know, from the museum property? I mean, that's all of it. Well, not not actually. You'll see the, you'll see the hedgerow eventually. But actually, we were out there the other day, and because that's up too. It, it's yeah, it's. When you're in the house, really, you're only looking this way. When you step outside and come around in the spring and the summer, you can see this way here. Right. It's very it's hard trees. to see down yeah. this way. So it's, it's, I understand what he's saying, but right. that can be hidden. And the garage, the garage, the garage that's there yeah. has trees all around yeah, there, right there. So this that is, are this blocking is all trees right anyway. here, like the tree belt. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, we, we, and we we'll totally understand. And we'll put more in there to... We, we know where you're coming from. The view from across the street. From here. <laughs> yeah. They should see trees yeah. and arborvitaes. 
except in the winter. In the winter. Yeah. And if houses are ever put in in this area. Is the museum open in the winter? No, it's not. Do you need my name? Yes. Please. Sharon Scavera, S-K-O-W-E-R-A. I live in Enfield, but I'm owner of 63 and 83 College Highway. Thank you. And this was part of my father's house. Okay. <laughs> so. What do you know? What do you think? <laughs> well, so they look for beavers down there? <laughs> Actually, there are some beavers. There's some beavers. That's all. That's <laughs> there are. Some spotted frogs, too. They're in trouble. <laughs> Beavers aren't endangered yet. I know. They're down there. But yeah. there's only, you, you can't just I know, go you can't, down and you gotta, shoot them. I know, you got to trap them. Yeah. The farmer himself can't do that in his own land? There's a dual permit you can get out of season to trap. trap to oh, trap oh, and uh, we try this conservation. We got one on Fred Jackson Road. It's going to pour over the roadway soon. Bizarre. Hmm. Can I ask? Um, this is really Thank, a question. You. Really for the Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, as you'd mentioned, the kind of the front of the house or the um, the office space is here. Could we step the building with a lower gable and then an upper gable? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Could we do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that that could look good. We right? don't need a lot of headspace over this area. Right. Kind of, well, that's what you were saying. Kind of this concept, Rob, is. is, is yeah, I'm step down to and take then the curse out of the building, like right. you said, and I know you that you were trying to do it. Actually, that would like make it look like a like a so, you know like a, like a Texas Texas ranch style well and barn from there, or windows up top. Maybe like it looks like a Texas ranch style barn, or maybe a little porch, or well, whatever it might be. <clears> like a porch, yeah, yeah. And then on the back side, do those does, little grow rooms need need all that elevation? The grow rooms with the light, and heat, and the air conditioning, they're moving around, humidity, air, and stuff. Yes, yeah. Can we? Can we? These rooms here. Um, no, because like the the mother clone room, we're gonna we double rats because they're, they're only they're only this yeah. big. They'll have but come to these there, these yeah. these no, 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 bigger but, trees. But if, if you could if you could basically, I mean, I know what you're saying. Could, all the way around, if you were to wrap that with like a veranda, like a like in, in the building, then it started looking more like like this, you know, yeah, like a veranda style, you know, whatever that looks like, like just where you're going, yeah. and then then at this point here, however you do it, you know, the yeah. roof continue. Get, I, that would that would help because uh, you don't you know what uh, one of the things that bothers me is is if this is like like seven and a half feet or something versus what 12. 20? 12. No, 14. 14 on the corner not so, twenty so well, it's your story plus on the corner so but it's also it's a lot of also set down yeah. five or six feet from the roadway as is anyways so there's a lot of service area I still right, no I, I still I, have I, questions on the conservation that bothers me. So, well, I didn't do it. I want to <laughs> clarify it more. That's all. That's yeah. perspective. I was talking about something like We can go for a continuation if we have to until we get an answer. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's one of I want to protect I mean, them. That's a horrible yeah. drawing. But no, I know. Well, I'm just, just saying. Yeah. Every, 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 yeah, not that. <laughs> yeah, well, I usually take a little more time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like 15 seconds right yeah. there. Um, one of the, one of the things that I think is what I want you guys to think about, too, because this is something we can really work with. We have a grade change, a pretty significant grade change from the from College Highway down to, to this area here. So we're anticipating that we'd actually have to fill to do the finished floor at if we were to do it at street elevation. So this building can be can be sunk. set down, sunk a little bit. And actually, it'll be better for us overall. Less displacement. Less right. displacement, yeah, less fill required. You won't less, see it on the road side. Less, right, less impact towards the wetland because we're not chasing that slope as much as right. we fill. So we could get this wall down like. Probably four by feet. I mean, we probably could if, if that didn't look goofy. But I mean, you know, but. We could probably well, do that, right? No, we could. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Well, the, um, I, could get, I know we could. I could get your cross section. It, it, it goes from the road like this, the tree out. belt, and, it, and then it's down, and it's a good six, probably yeah, six like feet or so. Feet, Plus, we got to take topsoil out. It's beautiful topsoil. So here's my yeah. suggestion, which we move around. <clears throat> All right. Is a continuance of this. A little research and a little conceptual on your side, and we're going to quest maybe a conservation. Visitors uh, to kind of explain with a little more detail on what they made their their comments on. Based on we need their approval though to do that though, right? To 
Well, yeah, they're good. I'm just presenting to them. Your continuation sheets. Yeah. Oh, shit, right yeah, here. Right here. <laughs> How about that? Sorry about that. They got to do, do a little bit of work. Sorry. But I'd rather do that than, than cut you sh short. Mm -hmm. I think that's where you're heading. <clears throat> that's nice. So horrible. Yeah. So, right. yeah, but, yeah, but, but the grade, the grade oh, does sorry. drop. Right. Yeah. So, so it makes your roof line look. There's an opportunity. We have to see how we, because we can't drop I, I off the street. The horizon. But there, there's the a way we can. Looks different. But the building could be tucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They could hide it. We only want to do the right. Believe it or not, we only want to do the right thing. I agree with you. And believe it or not, we're trying to do within two and it's best, but we get into constraints and then we get. Inconsistent. I just get I get real irritable. I know not the big structure, but why? Certain times there's things that say oh, okay. And like, no, no, no. Yeah. So I just want someone to clarify for us. Sure. What mm -hmm. is different to their eyes? Because we try to look at it every case as individual, and we are doing it with this too. You know, the, talking about the structure, but the wetlands become consistent as a negative. <laughs> and that's why we kind of stand on it. If there wasn't the wetlands, I have less of it, you would be able to push it back, too. Well, we, yeah, we wouldn't yeah. have as many arguments. Yeah. You may be able to fit, we wouldn't have to come to us. <laughs> you know, maybe not, but and it does step down pretty good, so you have to do a lot of moving the verb, but, <clears throat> which would cause another. <laughs> uh, so, if we, went, uh, when we come back, it would be helpful, likely, to have a cross-section through here to understand the how that, you know, how some that conceptual would like be looking you know, on the left. right and the height, some of the some of the off the uh, mean dimensions, if you will, or the peaks yeah. and all that stuff, and I think that would help. And you get a as far as the, the aesthetics. Yeah. The, the the land is a land. I get that. Mm -hmm. And again, if well, conservation can we put that argument of why they're saying it's okay in this situation, I would feel better about it. And, and not that I'm the judge and jury, they are, really, <laughs> unfortunately. I think, okay. I'll break it. I think also if you were able to show us, you, know, you, you have this, you're looking for a 20-foot setback, and that's probably from the property line. But if you could tell us where the difference between the property line and the edge of the road, yeah. and, and so would it, you know what? Well, it might be 15 feet more, so it's almost 40 feet. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's about, so it could be about 12 more feet, so 15 yeah, feet, and then, right, feet so from it's from the road. closer to 30, 35. 20, 35 feet. It just yeah. sounds so small. Which, believe it or not, makes a big difference. Well, is this what it is? Does this illustrate where the road is versus the uh, actual um, right away? I don't know. Is that, well, just drawn, is, is, is that just drawn arbitrarily? Not arbitrarily, but I think there's some refinement uh, in terms of relationship. So maybe, maybe a little, a little depicting, <laughs> This depicting from the center of the road is there uh, right. right here, and then there was the setback here. So you're looking at from the road wave, you know, what it is. I'm, I'm curious if, if there's a way to establish what it, you know, what is the footprint per canopy? You know, is a third, is that an industry standard, or is there... Well, it's, um, when it, if you're just the looking at the farming you. itself, um, this is, and if, if doing single layer growing, say if it's a greenhouse, okay, square footage, you have, you have 5,000 square feet. It's up to the farmer who's going to get how many pounds out of their, their canopy area mm. itself. Um, so if this was a greenhouse and it was outdoor, we had a regular greenhouse and we were growing the sun, your trees would be much further apart because they'd be growing much larger. Okay, so your pounds per product was different on your square footage. Indoors, we'd be growing in a, in, on tabletops in a sea of green. Mm. So the canopy is actually comprised of the tabletops within that room and the lights being over them. Mm. And we'd have to grow small, short trees to maximize our production. Obviously, as a business, you want to be efficient. Of course. But we wouldn't, be have, you know, we wouldn't have six, eight-foot trees to grow like some of these other dispensaries do. We have different growing techniques. I, I'm just I'm just asking the question: Is is there an industry standard for indoor? Okay, so back to that. Yes, and outdoors you have. We're uh, not eight, outdoors. Eight, so that, that's, okay, that's indoors over here. then. Uh, I don't know of an industry standard that says our, a building like that a third of it has to be, or a third of it, you can only have a third of it. No, 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 no. Just to usually, you know, just you know, they're just. If we didn't have to go to the bathroom and take showers and change. Well, there's the problem. <laughs> there's higher but, uh, robots. Okay. Well, well, at these, these stages here, this room here is basically just mother you, trees. If, if the answer is no, 
That's okay, but I'm just curious. Is, is no, it's it, an interesting question. Oh, yeah. it okay. is. I'm okay. just trying to explain it. And well, I, well, I get it. I, I mean, I, I get the horticultural <laughs> aspects of it, and, and I, I appreciate I that. I get excited. Excited about my, my stuff. One of the things they have to be very careful with is when they're growing it, if one starts getting a fungus in it, it can wipe up the whole place. So there's a whole big thing of separation right. of each part of it. And then they our have all product, the our product, our water, our Everything soil has, has to be, be separated. Tested. We're, in we're testing every the medical, step of the way. Right, medical uh, cannabis requirements. We have the same testing. There's no so difference from us in medical, yeah. period. We could actually contract out for a medical dispensary that, that needs some extra, technically. Just so, so do you actually have negative air in there? Is it under vacuum? It's yeah, under positive pressure. You go pop, okay. And then uh, have filters in the air intake. Mm -hmm. in. Okay. It actually depends on which room you're walking into or walking out of. Mm -hmm. And it's usually with cleaning, you've got to have negative somewhere. When he was when you walk into the, the, uh, from the offices, you walk Clean in. change. When you walk in to the place, it's positive pressure, pushes all the mm -hmm. uh, things out. Part of it. I'm a brewer. And, and you were saying also when they clean change their clothes and stuff, mm -hmm. they have to go on these sticky things. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. a lot of visitors come in, you spray them down, there's a lot of, of uh, uh, regulations by the state, nets. and that's why a lot of these rooms, we we have to have mm -hmm. some of those rooms. Well, look what's going on with Romaine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been eating romaine my whole life, but all of a sudden you can't eat it. That's what they did. Nothing that what was did wrong they wrong with it, though. I like that. Just yeah. to let them throw it away. Did they figure it out? Was it yeah, water? Two, was it two or three areas where they shut down the whole two or three big? I would honestly look at this layout, and uh, and I think that I think that I, you can disagree. I think there's volume to be removed that is non-essential to the growth of this marijuana. Tell me. Pardon me? Tell me. Yeah, help I can us. I can tell you. If, all right, I'll tell you. There's, there's an office space here, and and, and, and it, this office is even smaller. And, and I, there's no dimensions on this to work from, so I don't even know how big these are. But I'm saying to myself, I could fit one, two, three, maybe four offices for six men to, to go to the bathroom and change. That's a lot of volume. This, Just saying. This is five by five. What's it, How big is this guy? It's not that big. Well, what do you think? 10 by 10. 10, all right, so there's 10 feet. So it's 10, 20 by 15. Well, how big is the standard office? It's got to be 8 Dude, 10 forget, by 10, I'm not asking what the office I'm using it as a reference point. My office. Yeah. So, so, that's, so that's 40, I think it's 40, 400, that's 400 square feet for, for, for guys to go to the bathroom and change your clothes. It's a lot of space. I'm just, you, you don't have to design it now. I'm saying, I'm just saying that this building is big. And if I were you, I would try to think about that. And you're very gracious and, and liberal. You got big aisleways. You got a lot of space here to build this huge building. And I think that you could be a little bit more uh, conservative in your deployment of volume. That's all I'm saying. That's for you to decide. But I'm saying you're 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 you're, you're having no real hardship in your mind asking to be right next to the road. But yet, if I challenge your 400 square feet and 400 for the women, that's 800 square feet. That's the size of a house. That's my first house is about that size. And that's for people to change once a day and go to the bathroom maybe four times a day. So that's a lot of space. That's all I'm saying. And, that's, and I don't even know so what... So if there's, if there's <clears throat> eight employees, eight women, and eight men using that... I don't know what the standard is for that either. I'm just saying that it's, it's a big chunk well, of... Well, I'm trying... I'm, I, it sounds like, sounds like information would be helpful. It would. It, it would. Be, because because well, you, you know why? I'll tell you why. Because when I look at this, I have no idea how big these spaces are. And if and if they were if it was your, what you're what you're asking for is very much a real number to me, these numbers are all fictitious. And we they're can, actually and not fictitious because these aisleways have to be. They so then 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 make that known. It, make it known. That's all I'm saying. Is I'll, I'm, I'm challenging you. Okay, you're yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. You're the ones into it. And and it's not just about horticulture. Now it's about architecture. It's about industry standards. It's about <clears> what <throat> these are all known. I, I used to study industrial engineering. I know that every single piece of information I'm asking you. And many industries is a, is a given. Now, maybe there's a new industry and it's not, but if you want to squeeze this big structure into this tiny little space, then get your game tight on this. Well, I do know when I built my brewery that when we put our offices in, my office was 8 by 12 or 10 by 12, and my other offices, they weren't. You have to put a desk in an office. You know how big my office is? My office is this. I'm a, C, I'm a chief engineer for life support for space travel. This is my office right here. So figure it out. 
Figure it out, man. So, so you're at, but you're asking, okay, okay. But some of this I'm is, asking you to just get, get you're, ask, you're asking us to give up the farm here, and you're explaining away 400 square foot change rooms. From the state, too. If is that's, it, it's like, a that's what's legally required, it's, 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 it's pretty much is a it, requirement. It's a handicap access, access it's, stuff, too. It, I don't know. know. But, but if yeah. you can come back and say, Tom, based on the, on the mass uh, general law 25-8, I need to have this much square foot per, per person. I have no argument, but you haven't done that. I don't think there's regulations. Okay. I don't know sense. what it is. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you, man, if you, this whole game here is compromise. You, you put us in a bad place, and if you want to just, for, for us to fold and say, have at it, that ain't going to happen. Ain't gonna happen. So you got to figure out a way to I make understand. it, make not, it more I'm palatable. Not to, I'm not trying to argue. I know you're not. I'm just trying to explain good. what the I know you got a lot of vested in this, and you don't need, you'd rather not hear me no, spot it's, off it's, again, it's, but it's, this, is, this is how I feel. It's like, what am I going to do here? What are, you know? What are we gonna? Do? I don't know, but but I got. It's got to be. You got to do better job. Right. Than, so we're gonna continue it. Is that? Right. So what, if there was an agreement with that, we would uh, go for uh, continuation. Yeah, I would. But they have to request. Yeah, we would respectfully request yeah, a little meeting. better. We'll um, let you fill it out. We should probably discuss when your next meeting is and what what kind of time we're gonna need to get the information together. But what I heard tonight was it would be certainly be helpful to have a cross section showing kind of the slope, how the building could potentially fit into the slope, pull that down work on roof lines, um, work on the, if possible, the, the street edge of the building to try to minimize any impacts. Obviously look at the floor plan, justify the space we're using. If, uh, if we can't justify it, lose it. <laughs> right? Yes. Much. And, and also, well, you well, know, I mean, I look at to, 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 one, to the point there is, I mean, look at all these, I'll call it vast rooms, but they're they're a good size and they're, they're above average. They're not they're not below average. I don't know the size. Yeah. I'm just look, by, by your dimensional and how you're breaking it up. But you got shipping here. It's like the size of a closet. The shipping product. Right, because all the product is in locked in a vault until the, sh the truck so shows up. So that vault is just part the of the shipping. Vault is locked all the time. It's part of the packaging room and and the shipping. So it's room. all one one yeah kind of deal. With, the, basically, all the finished just, product goes into. It looked the, like it was shipping out of a closet. That's yeah. all. Versus yeah. the other size rooms yeah, you yes. have there. That's all. Yeah, yeah. The shipping's pretty important. Product has to it's be locked important. in a vault at all times until it gets released. I got it. Yeah, I got it. So it's I think good. I think a, a you so know a vault, a front vault. an explanation of the process well, and it's, it's, justification it's, of the spaces associated right. with the process oh. will help you. Yeah, yeah, for well, sure. Yeah, no, I'm good. also interested, and in, I don't know if yeah. I'm asking you to do your job or do my job, well. but um, when we talk about hardship. Yeah. I understand everything you said uh, re regarding the um, law that did, uh, d determines mm -hmm. if, if, if a um, hardship has been met, topology, mm -hmm. soil, etc. cetera. Um, but what I don't know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know um, if there's any legal um, uh, predetermination that if when purchasing land for a certain purpose, and the purpose can't be met because the land can't support it. If that if that substantiates a hardship, do you understand what I'm saying? Say, for instance, these guys didn't know that there was a wetland. That this was they say just for sake of argument, they knew exactly where this line was, and they purchased the land anyway. Just say, for instance, I'm not saying you did because you say you didn't, and I, I'll accept that. But say they did, mm -hmm. would that would and then they asked for a hardship yeah, because of the soil. So you print that would that be would that be <laughs> substantiated I guess by um, for printing hardship law? I don't, I don't know why it would matter to anyone well, or why it should matter it. legally who who comes before the plant be the ZBA. The ZBA is here to make a determination as to well. Hardship, hardship is a very delicate thing, and, and I say and I'll tell you why because we decide one way and sometimes you know try to and then we get burnt. It goes to the court and they kick it out. We go the other way, it goes to the court to kick that out. So hardship is a royal pain for us. And so, so, to tell, so I don't know, it's hard. To, I mean, we had one guy come in. Actually, they brought a lawyer in from Boston who wrote a book on hardships. And he set us up and took us to lunch because we're a bunch of guys that are shoemakers. And this guy rolls in and he, he tricked us. And, and, and so, yeah, hardships are hard. They're, they're, and and, and to, 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 so I don't know how to answer. That's a question. <coughs> that's Bobrowski. Is that who showed up? Probably was even. Mm -hmm. He's a yes. sharp cat. He wrote a book. Yeah. yeah. Called yeah. the Massachusetts Handbook yeah. of Land yeah. Planning Law. Yeah. Yeah. That I guy. I would love to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wish you were here too. <laughs> he would have signed <laughs> it for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great book. So but, they bring in a heavy hitter and they don't even tell us that. And whatever. But the hardship, <laughs> to me, financial loss is not a hardship. Fi uh, financial is one of the aspects. They say it absolutely is. It is what to sell 
it's, or not to do development. There's, and there's a bunch of case laws. So the, I would, my, my recommendation it's is don't take it from me, take a look at Bobrowski's book. Uh, I don't know if that's the same guy. I, I think it is. But it's it is. called yeah. the Handbook of Massachusetts Land Planning Law. And also there's, a, there's an article, uh, there's another uh, publication by Marty Healy um, about variances. Those two are probably the best in probably what you guys deal with almost every time, every meeting. And there's case law going in either direction. and. It contradicts itself. Yeah. So when it comes down to it, can you grant variances? Oh, yes. Can, can people appeal those variances because they don't agree with them? Yes. Sure. Will those go either way? Probably on yeah. the same variance in a different time. Experience path? tells us that's all yeah. true. Yeah. The and, question I'm asking is, 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 is knowledge prior to a purchase taken into consideration when determining hardships? That's the question I'm trying to ask. Caveat emptor. Um, Buyer beware. beware. I don't know. It specifically says that you cannot create your own hardship. Oh, it does. So if you Where does it say that? Purchase land. It's in the order um, 40, 10, and 11. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you if you bought a piece of property, it had a site setback, created one or two lots, and then didn't have enough for the third. That's correct. That's yeah. creating your own hardship, obviously. Or so put in a building that's too big for the footprint. Does that create a hardship? No. If, for instance, if I put a house, I could put a house right here with why, no why hardships. Why would it be a ZBA if that couldn't happen? Well, no, hardships aren't quite that. We're not, we don't have liberty with hardships like we do with zoning bylaws. I'll get, I tell you what, better, better I give you the books to read and then you guys make your own decision because I don't want to be, you know. Well, no, but, but you understand <laughs> what you said was not true. We don't, we don't have liberty on hardships. I, I prefer you just read it because I, I don't want to get, I don't want to, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you guys. Well, we, guys, we've sorry. had, we've had, I'm sorry. Just, okay. just, so just to read. I'm from actually not sorry. Read from the state law. It says um, ordinance represent a hardship for the petitioner. The petitioner must establish that the hardship is particular only to his lot and is due to the unique condition of the land for which the variance is being requested. The zoning board must find that the variance will not result in substantial detriment to the public good and that it will not significantly derogate from the intent of the zoning ordinance. And it goes on and it says every petitioner should be at, should ask themselves this question and part of that is that you, you can't create your own hardship. You can't buy something knowing so you'd have to sort of prove that you didn't know that and you made that point earlier that you didn't know that but if you did know it and you bought the land anyway uh, you can't create your own hardship. But how is that any different, if we're going to get into the academic exercise, right? How is that any different from, say, let's say one of these lots we do around the lakes, right? So these people buy the property knowing that their lot is not as big as, as the zoning required in R20, right? So they buy them. We, we, they try to improve the homes because they're beautiful or could be beautiful on the water. They improve the homes. It's adding value. It doesn't derogate to the intent of the, from the intent of the zoning bylaw because it's generally a positive thing unless they try to do some mon monstrosity generally those have been granted in the past from maybe your current board and a different makeup of the board that would be no different the, than the, buying the, the, the lake, the lake presents, is history yeah the lake presents an incredible if, challenge to this board the history, those lots were carved up like postage stamps and there's probably there's hundreds of them yeah I know. and and when they come in front of us every single time we have to deal with a very unique and I, i've often thought that there should be a whole zone established for that region which there isn't so it puts us in a very difficult place and don't think that's not missed it is what we do we well, don't miss it we what get would it. help actually you know and this is a, uh, an aside but what would help is other municipalities have what's called a, a dimensional special permit or a special permit that's allowed for cases where you're not you don't have to meet the same bar with the special permit as you do with the variance and it's very helpful um, Otis has a special permit that's allowed. The Otis Reservoir has a very similar situation to Congamon Lakes, yeah. that type of thing. In this particular case, it could have been a special permit where the dimensions could be um, loosened if you felt it didn't derogate from the intent of the zoning bylaw, but you don't still need to meet all these same criteria because you're battling, I know you're battling with the variance criteria and it's, and it's, it's tough. And that's why the, being on the ZBA. So, 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 <laughs> so, so, so the words, the words he captured in there, without intent or degradation, whatever term, derogate from the intent of the zoning bylaw. Right, yeah. and, and and now we're putting this. I go back to the big surface, close to the road, mm -hmm. 
that's not exactly in, in agreement with a, a that if you drive down that pasture, it's a, it's a little valley, it's very pleasant. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, poof, huge industrial complex. That's which is what this is. It's industrial farming, it's significant. And 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 I asked a question, this is a big there's a lot of open space in this town. Is this the only piece of property you could find that was that, that was zoned? Yeah. Nobody would sell. Nobody would sell. Yeah. Or was it the only one that you could afford? No, yeah. nobody would sell. There's a big plot of land <coughs> that, across we are the Texas <coughs> well, of the need sale. to not, that that want to the the by law, and that we do need to work hard to, to show you that. Right, so there we have it. All right, so we've agreed that the oh. go for a continuation so that we can gain information. You guys need to do some work, and we need to work with the conservation next, next, next meeting is December 10th. Next one after that is the 24th. Uh, we're not, I don't know if we're going to meet on the 24th. <laughs> it's <Christmas. laughs> it's probably not. Um, Is there enough time? I'm going to dress up like yeah. get some stuff together here. That's, tight. That's only, uh, I think, I think rather rather like two weeks away. Two weeks two away. Weeks. So then you would be January, early January. Yeah. What's your January? Second week, so 14th. 14th. 14th and the 28th, one or the other. Come back with a thoughtful response. Yeah, it's gonna have to be January. Yeah. yeah. So, in, so in January fourteenth. the size of the building, really put. I, I would. I would 14th. ask that you put some effort not into explaining okay. why it needs to be the size it is, but but showing some due diligence where you might be able to reduce in, in Shave particular, it off a bit. in particular the width, and you pull it away from the road, and and maybe you sculpt it. You know. Try to try to fit into the neighborhood a little better, and that would that might help you. <coughs> we need to uh, vote on that. that. Right there, I'm sorry. Accept that. Or we need to approve that, or just yes, I suppose we should. Should yeah. All so right. Motion to accept the. Oh, let's uh, make a motion. Yes. To yeah. Motion to accept yeah. the, uh, the the continuation uh, for College yeah. Highway. Let's not bother them. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy four. Seventy four College Highway to so January fourteenth. When he, these guys told me there's a greenhouse, I said to my, I said to my wife, this will be an easy one. <laughs> but a greenhouse, I'm thinking of something like that. Second. <laughs> so side of there a second. We have a second. Okay. Uh, All in favor? Aye. For the continuation? Aye. Yes. Ayes have it. All right. All right. So we'll uh, take Appreciate this up again on January 14th, 2019. Uh, requested that we communicate with the Conservation Commission just to clarify. Um, yeah, you, like, are, little, are you guys going to communicate or do you want us to? I mean, I think it's a project. I think we should. We asked for some more clarification other than consideration because they wouldn't get it without it. That doesn't. That doesn't is, is the question why? Um, what has allowing they're allowing they the buffer zone to be encroached? Okay. 15. Oh, the 50 foot inner. Yeah, inner foot, inner buffer. Because okay. the outer, I get it. Yeah. The inner is what becomes understood. Understood. like the fire stick. Gotcha. All of a sudden, it's not. Yeah. So, I'd like just clarification why they're allowing it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate Thank you for your time. Thank Thank you. Right. There's no Thank risk. Good luck, there's no yep. risk. Enjoy mind. the holidays. You know, I'm not the too. Yes. I just know we've got to deal with them if we go around them. So. Okay, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good evening. Right. See you. Have Thank a good you. holiday. See you. And uh, we're taking, what, 20 pounds of pot for Christmas? So yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Great. We're except for two of these. What? Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Conservation come to our next meeting. Funny, I thought is that what you keep walking a park? I know. We watch them put a ball here. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. If they want to come, that's fine. That's a Titan. If you want those links, I can send you the link. If it's helpful, I can send somebody. Uh, Paul, the yeah. links to the. They are they are interesting reads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the answers a lot of the it's probably more confusing. It, it contradicts itself. I know. But <laughs> Well, my point is, I think conservation is kind of predicting them, so that's why I'm challenging them. No, but the but the that, that other stuff is pretty. I'll okay, it's yeah. good. Thank All you. right, appreciate Thanks, it. Rob. Thank you much. Okay, uh, we've taken up a lot of time with this, so let's yeah. look at uh, another application which has come in, and regarding the next big failure, two Klaus Anderson Road right across from the cemetery. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a new store. There's a there's a no, the other side of the street. Oh, the white, white, okay. There's a guy that's been parking, parking yes. his truck, okay. Two trucks, sometimes. Well, I've only seen one at a time. Curbing, so it's all granite curbing. He yes. does like a distributor. Or and a a apparently so someone. Mud and backup. And 
someone has complained yeah. that it's there uh, to the uh, building inspector and he said hey you according to the bylaws you can't do that right but he says you can appeal it to the board oh boy so it would be up to us to uh, that'll be a fun that'll be fun to do <laughs> to it's that a thing. dandy yeah <laughs> so even, uh, even though it's not a dimensional thing I we could still now we're talking a use or just, it's, it's just an appeal, appeal of, the, of the building inspector's decision. You can appeal a building oh, inspector's okay. decision. Oh, okay. oh boy. So he gave them 30 days or 15 days, I think 15 days, which they did. And so uh, we're now going through the process. When is this? Uh, on the 10th of... Merry uh, Christmas. Great. Yeah. 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 Well, December. Do you have December 10th? Come on, it's not Jesus. quite Christmas yet. You got time. I got to ruin the guy's business. Oh, TD Bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it, though. It's a hassle when they back up the kinds of traffic. Well, I imagine it's that all part. all muddy. It's all yeah. across the road right there. He brings the mud into the intersection uh, and water, and it gets icy. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, that'd be a problem. It's a problem. Right. And sometimes there's two trucks there. That would be, uh, that would be the uh, uh, highway department's yeah, problem. Yeah, I, I know. With the, with the mud and so on. They, they would not so anyway. quite approve that. Anyway, that's what this is. I'll tell you what he did do before, though. He made an effort. They bought in gravel or, you know, like crushed stone. Yeah. To try to regrade it and absorb the the mud and the water and stuff. But, you know, those trucks are heavy. I mean, that thing's loaded with oh, the granite. Oh, those are oh heavy. God, heavy. Yeah. So. It just buries right in and makes things. Plus the noise and yeah. the residential. It's tough. It's, it's, right. it's, it's not an industrial. It's not, it's not so a industrial lot. The, people, the people across the street don't it's care. It's got 40. They really yeah. don't. It's, quite it's quite the cemetery. <laughs> people <yours>? don't care. <laughs> you never know. So, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. They haven't I, said I much. Like Let's put it that way. I don't like what they're doing. I don't know. Someone handed that to me. It's not mine. This is your copy. Oh, it is? I don't know. This guy. Can I steal this for somebody? What's no, that? I know that that's the letter they what stole from them. Oh, they uh, gave it to us. Here, put it in, okay, well, put it in their folder. folder. Yeah, it was basically saying that conservation was. Are we still? It. Are we still right. alive? Yeah, we're still on here. So we, uh, if we're, if we're all done, let's. Oh. Uh, I'll put a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting hereby adjourned.